Welcome to exercise three. The challenge is to write a program that asks the user to enter a total amount of time in minutes only. Print to the console the same amount of time in both hours and minutes. So for example, if they say 61 minutes, they worked 61 minutes, the program needs to automatically say that is one hour and one minute. So your program needs to be able to convert that into hours and minutes and then reprint it. So this is the hardest exercise because you have to remember one thing that I didn't go over too much throughout the rest of the lectures. So if you want to try to solve this on your own, pause the video now and go ahead. If not, I'm going to solve it now. So basically, the, what we need to do to solve this, the hard part of this, is that we need to remember to use the remainder operator. That The remainder operator is what we're going to be able to use to get the remaining minutes left. That's the hard part. Besides that, this is pretty conceptually easy. Um, you just need to remember to use a remainder to get the remaining left. So let's start off by asking the user to enter in the total amount of time in minutes. Enter the total amount of time in minutes only. So int total time in minutes equals int dot parse console dot read line. So whatever they enter in is parsed and then stored into there. So now I have the total minutes in my variable. So now I need to break this in up. I need to get the, the hours and the remaining minutes left over. So to get the hours, that's pretty simple. I'm just going to take my total time in minutes and divide it by 60 because there's 60 minutes in every hour. So if I just divide it by 60, then I'll get the remaining hours. So I'm going to say int hours equals total time in min minutes divided by 60. So now hours has whatever it is so if it was um 197 minutes hours would be three because 60 goes into that many times so so right now we have the hours just that's the easy part if you can understand that we're okay so then now the hard part is the remainder so we need to get the leftover and the remaining minutes so i'm going to say int remaining minutes equals total time in minutes percent 60 so remember this percent is the modulus or the remainder operator so this is basically going to get the remainder of whatever it is for example if it was 61 minutes this would return one because right 60 divided by 60 is one so the hours would be one so that's right you have one hour and then to get the remaining minutes it would do 60 mod 60 and that would mean that 60 goes into um 60 i mean 61 goes into 60 once and then there's one left over. So that would be the one remaining minute. That this will get the one. So the percent 60, this returns the one. So let's go ahead and now just do the console for the final statement. Console.write line. I'll say total minutes as a placeholder. Minutes is equal to blank hours and oops, I missed it. And blank minutes. This should be one. And then the plug in, we're going to say total time in minutes, hours, minutes, remaining minutes. So the, it's going to say total time. So 61 minutes is equal to one hour and one minute. That's what it's going to say if I type in 61 with the, with the variables that I plugged in. Let's go ahead and try running this. So enter the total amount of time in minutes only. So let's say... 61 minutes so 61 minutes is equal to one hour and one minute um so yeah like i said that's how it's getting it because 60 goes in 61 divided by 60 is one 61 remainder 60 is one also so let's try a little bit harder one let's say i don't know 315 minutes is equal to five hours and 15 minutes let's do one more 100 and 197 minutes is equal to 3 hours and 17 minutes. So it's using the division to get the hours and the modulus to get the remaining minutes. So always remember the modulus operator gets the remainder. So that's it for this exercise. Everything seems to be working really well. Now, if you completed all three exercises, Good job. That means you really understood the material that we discussed in the previous lectures. 
Now, if you didn't solve all three, don't don't worry. We're going to be practicing all these things all the time. If you can look at the solutions and, and under, understand my video solutions, and it makes sense to you after I explain it, you're still on the right track. If it makes sense, do not give up. Keep on going. And it will definitely eventually make sense to you. Do not worry.